Chris, what is our fourth main topic today? Hot dogs on a stick had me crying, Ray. Never change. <laughs> oh. Holden Refond writes in, Good morning, guys. Just watched Peacekeeper episode five, and this show just keeps getting better and better. When I was looking around for some reactions, I saw that Peacemaker has become the number one show in the world, even over Boba Fett. How can Peacemaker have this kind of success when Suicide Squad didn't? Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, Holden. And yeah, I mean, listen, yesterday in many ways was game day because not only were we going to go see Moonfall, I knew I was going to be able to get home, you know, pour myself a drink, get settled in on my sofa and watch some Peacemaker. Peacemaker continues to triumph. <laughs> Peacemaker continues to be awesome. I loved this episode. Uh, I'm not going to give like specific plot points away, but something that we you know, kind of guessed last week that might actually happen this week did happen. It was like, oh my God, they're doing it. Oh my God, they're doing it. And it was so good. Uh, Economist, you are a fucking stud. Anyway, that's out of context. You'll have to see what we mean. But this, the episode was fantastic. I absolutely adored it. Loved everything about it. I am so in on the show. Now, the person writing in the message is correct and kind of incorrect in saying that Peacemaker is now the number one show in the world. I, well, no, there's a few caveats to that. But what they are saying is that Peacemaker is the number one streaming in-demand show in the world, even over something like Book of Boba Fett. Now, let's put that a little bit into context here for a second. This comes to us from Screen Rant to write the following. According to Business Insider, Peacemaker is the biggest streaming series in the world as it is 69.5 <laughs> 69, times more in demand than the average series. The study was done by Parrot Analytics, which we've been quoting a lot, uh, which measures audience demand by taking the overall popularity of a TV series into account. The series beat out Netflix's The Witcher and Disney Plus's The Book of Boba Fett. And that comes to us from Screen Rant. Look. Regardless of what this study is, and I get the study, I understand what the parameters of it are. It's not that more people watched Peacemaker, because remember, there are far more people on the planet who have Disney Plus than have HBO Max. But I guess it's whatever to scale it is. But overall, they say Parrot Analytics is saying it's Peacemaker's a show. Now, number one, I think that's awesome because Peacemaker is definitely the better show out of the two, even though, God, I love the last episode of Boba Fett. That was great. If they can if they can finish the last two episodes on the same strength level that they just did this last episode, Book of Boba Fett's going to be just fine. But Peacemaker surprisingly has been the one for me has been the highest quality of the thing and that's weird because watching the previous one I'm like this lacks a low budget. And what's that vigilante character? It's going to be the stereotypical loser character that's kind of takes I did not have a lot of faith in it even though it's James Gunn. When am I going to learn? This show has been awesome, but you're right. One of the big surprising things about this to me is when you think about it, when you look at how badly Suicide Squad flopped, despite the fact that the movie is awesome with a capital A, that movie's incredible, but it flopped pretty badly. You would not be expected to say, hey, well, so they got a spinoff of it, Peacemaker. How well do you think that's going to do? Even with the show being great, I never would have expected it to be as good. Then I start to see other reports about how well this show is doing. And I don't know what it is. I don't know why Suicide Squad wasn't... They, for, uh, the only guess I have, guys, is the fact that I think the people who saw Suicide Squad really enjoyed it. I mean, not, there weren't enough of them. But I think that momentum is carried over. Maybe word of mouth has spread and that, that this is there. Maybe a lot of WWE fans decided maybe it wasn't they weren't going to get enough John Cena because they looked and they couldn't see him. But maybe they didn't get enough of him in Suicide Squad. But now that it's his own show, maybe they decided to check it out. And the ratings have been growing week after week after week after week. The ratings have been growing. More and more people are jumping on board with this show. Again, another testimony to why the week after week release strategy is far better than the dropping it all at once strategy. But I, I'm, I am surprised. I couldn't be happier, but I'm absolutely surprised. And I love seeing this, especially with how well this show is doing. We want to take a minute and thank the sponsors of this video, Liquid IV. Now, listen, just one stick 
of liquid IV added to 16 ounces of water will hydrate you faster and more efficiently than just water alone. It contains five essential vitamins like B3, B5, B6, B12, and of course vitamin C with three times the electrolytes as traditional sports drinks. And what makes liquid IV so effective is the science of cellular transport technology or CTT. You see, it's designed to enhance rapid absorption of water and other key ingredients into your bloodstream faster and more efficiently. It tastes great and it's a great thing to take when you feel run down, you need your daily hydration boost, or even a little bit of hangover recovery. You know, Ann and I get up pretty early in the morning to go to the gym because we can't go to the gym at any other time during the day. And for the last couple of weeks, I have been drinking one full glass of water with liquid IV. And all I can tell you is you can feel the difference during the workout. So go and grab liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code CAMPIA at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use the promo code CAMPIA, that's C-A-M-P-E-A, at liquidiv.com. Experience better hydration today when you go to liquidiv.com. And remember, use the promo code at checkout, CAMPIA. So let me ask you, Chris, uh, first of all, what do you think about the episode that we got last night quickly? And then what are your thoughts on this thing that in, in certain parameters are saying this thing is even outdoing a Star Wars character like the Book of Boba Fett. How do you see it? I was just talking about how I wanted something weirder last night, right, from Moonfall. And Peacemaker is delivering on the weird and wacky antics oh, where oof. things are happening where you just go, oh, they did that? Yeah. That's happening? Okay. I love it. And this, oh, this is going to be my Goonies, Rob. I was lukewarm about Suicide Squad. I, I went into it. Lukewarm sorry. is okay. That's yeah. not Goonies. Uh, that's fair. <laughs> um, uh, sorry, chat, though, if ever any of you are like, oh, my gosh, Chris, you're so wrong. It's just my <clears> opinion. <throat> I, I had really high hopes for that film and the kind of subverted expectations of the teams. I just went, oh, well, I'm not as into this movie anymore, but I guess I'll watch it through. And there were things that made me happy. I loved Peacemaker, though, in the film. I thought he was just such a piece of trash. And I was so right. intrigued by the idea of, like, how do we make a show about this guy? And I loved James Gunn's approach of, I want to take the worst person. I want to take someone so <laughs> irredeemable and make a show about that. Because I loved that just kind of uphill climb that Gunn was setting up for himself. Like, how can I make my job harder? Ah, Peacemaker. And they have just been delivering such a fantastic, fun show. And I do think that's kind of the disconnect with Boba Fett right now, is we keep talking about how this show has been a slow burn for a lot of people, right? And I think people are wanting that bombastic nature from a television show. You know, we want people being sliced and diced sometimes and Peacemaker's delivering all those things. Rob, what about you? Like you're you're seeing these numbers here, right? Like you're talking, like I didn't know if any, I'll be honest with you, despite the fact how much I've been loving Peacemaker, I really didn't have any kind of concept how many people are watching it. Clearly, a lot of people are. Are you surprised by that? And what do you think it is about Peacemaker that seems to be getting more attraction than Suicide Squad? Did? You know what? I'm not surprised by this. And to follow up on what Chris was saying, I was talking to a friend of mine this morning on the drive here, actually, who uh, is one of the publishers of Heavy Metal Magazine. And we were talking about how entertainment now, it's become you know really PC and everyone's looking for representation and all this. And we started talking about Peacemaker. And he said, you know, Peacemaker is heavy metal. It's very irreverent. It the violence, the comedy, the fusion of all these. Is, he's like it's punk rock, and he said it's a show that's doing representation right, but it's not shoving it in your face. You're just having you have all these different crazy, disparate characters of all different backgrounds and colors, creeds, and belief systems. But you're putting it together into this into this really irreverent mix of superhero action, violent comedy, and humor. And yet character pathos in this concoction that is unique and uh, fun and entertaining and most of all, fulfilling. When you get to the end of the episode, you're fulfilled. And and he's like, we don't have much of that. Everything else is sort of skewed one way or another. And he, he equated it to the boys. You know, the boys has that same kind of feel to it. And he says, it feels that most of all, it is what it was designed to be as opposed to being something else that doesn't quite work. Whereas I think Book of Boba Fett is is fighting against the fact that it's a Disney Plus show and ultimately family friendly. And maybe that's not quite what we're 
what we're looking for, and that's why the Book of Boba Fett seems sort of skewed one way or another. Peacemaker is just balls to the wall, guitar shredding, people diving into the off the stage and 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 crowd surfing and screaming in their microphones. I mean, it's like being at a punk rock show, and it's a fun it's a fun show. Ray, uh, let me ask you. I mean, what is it? I know for you because I want to ask you this because of the perspective you bring to it because you are a big Rick Flag fan. You, that Woo! was your favorite character. It was. And, and Ray has been, and I think this is a really interesting, <laughs> Ray's kind of been very adverse to the Peacemaker show because yeah. he hates Peacemaker because this character murdered Rick Flagg. <laughs> and there's no coming back from that. Joel Kinnaman, come yeah. on. <laughs> well, that's why you watch from the earth to the moon, man. I know, I know. Come on. I know. Oh, um, that's I, I actually decided right now I might give the second episode a shot today. I just the first one. There's a little cringe and awkwardness to it that I, I didn't like that little feeling. I don't know what it was. I did like the good parts that I thought were good. Like the girl was like, crazy. But I think I'm gonna give it a shot. One more shot. Let's see if uh. This well, that's stuff. high praise. If Ray's gonna give it one more shot. Yeah, because you guys, if you guys keep talking about the new episodes, it's gonna get like I'm gonna be like, oh man, I'm missing out. Like I don't like that feeling either. There's only well, three episodes left, I think. So I'll check just... out uh, episode two today, and then if I re if I'm into it, I'll watch the rest up and, and catch up. Ray, so. was the humor what made you kind of cringe, or was it the acting, or what? Um, what's the thing that's setting you off right now? Some of it was just raunchy. Oh, I just okay. thought it was raunchy a little bit. I like the superhero parts. I don't know. Maybe I'm a child while watching it. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, question is for you guys. What do you think? about what's going on with peacekeeper first of all did you have a chance to see the new episode so freaking good what do you think about these numbers is pulling up why is it doing better than suicide squad did whatever whatever your guys thoughts on this might be jump down into the comment section below and leave your thoughts there